just want to say a pleasant good day to everyone tuning into my channel right now and if you're new make sure you hit the subscribe button because road to 7k i'm saying 7k but i really mean 10k is in full effect for the 2018 fifa world cup but in this video i'll be doing a preview slash prediction for one of the biggest group matches of the 2018 world cup group stages between group b teams portugal and spain guys it doesn't get bigger than this the other group b teams are morocco and iran i already made a preview slash prediction video for that other group b fixture and it goes as follows for the morocco versus iran match i'm actually gonna predict a draw I'm going for a 1-1 draw, but now we are back with Portugal versus Spain. So let's start off with a brief World Cup history of both teams. For Portugal, they are also known as the Navigators, and this will be their seventh World Cup appearance. They placed third on debut in 1966 when the World Cup was hosted by England. RIP to the great Eusebio. He was awesome in that World Cup. You can go back and check footage on YouTube, especially the match versus North Korea, which is one of the greatest comebacks of all time. Then they placed fourth in 2006. They made it to the round of 16 in 2010. They made group stage exits in 1986, 2002, and ironically in the Brazil World Cup of 2014. For Spain, they are also known as La Roja Furia, and this would be their 15th World Cup appearance. They won the World Cup in 2010 when Iniesta scored that magical goal versus the Netherlands, who were third time unlucky. They also placed fourth in 1950. They got to the quarterfinals in 1934, 1986, 1994, and 2002. Disappointingly, in the 1982 World Cup, which they hosted, they could only get to round two. They made round of 16 appearances in 1990 and in 2006. But they made group stage exits in 1962, 1966, 1978, 1998, and the last World Cup in 2014. They will be looking to make amends for that flop. You might be asking yourself, how did Portugal and Spain qualify for the 2018 World Cup and Italy? USA, Chile didn't? Well, for Portugal, they tapped Group B of UEFA 2018 World Cup qualifiers. And for Spain, they also tapped Group G of their UEFA 2018 World Cup qualifiers without losing a single game. What are my 2018 World Cup predictions for both Portugal and Spain? Like, how far do I think each team will get? Well, for Portugal, I think they're gonna only make it to the round of 16 and then they're gonna crash out. For Spain, they're gonna have a better showing. Well, albeit their coach Lopetegui was sacked yesterday and everything, but still, I still am gonna stick to my prediction for them to get to the quarter finals. Head to head record. How many times have Portugal and Spain met in the past? Portugal and Spain has played each other on 36 occasions spanning from 1921 to 2012 when they last met in the Euros. Portugal has won 6 of those matches while Spain has won 18 while 12 of those matches ended in a draw. The last 5 matches between Portugal and Spain, Spain has won 3 and Portugal 2. With none of those matches ending in, in a draw so we know we are gonna get some sort of result from this fixture as I said earlier they last met in Euro 2012 the match ended nil nil after extra time went to penalties and Spain defeated Portugal to advance to the finals which they went on to win for Portugal Rui Patricio Bruno Alves Ricardo Quaresma Pepe João Moutinho and Cristiano Ronaldo are survivors from that match who will be at the 2018 World Cup. They might even play in the match versus Spain. While for Spain, Jared Piquet, Sergio Ramos, Sergio Busquets, Andres Iniesta, David Silva, Pepe Reina, and Jody Alba were either amongst the 11 or on the bench in that last match versus Portugal. They will also be in Spain's squad for the 2018 World Cup and may even feature versus Portugal. Maybe not Pepe Reina though, because they have the mighty David De Gea in their ranks. 
Who are the head coaches of these teams? Well, for Portugal, their head coach is the Portuguese man, Fernando Santos. His biggest achievement with the Portuguese team is winning Euro 16, earning them their first piece of major silverware. He has been their manager since 2014 and has overseen 51 matches, winning 33, drawing 9 and losing 9. He has a win percentage of 65%, which is pretty, pretty damn good yesterday julian lupetegui the man who brought him to qualifiers and the man who haven't lost a match with spain since 2016 since his appointment was sacked after he took the job for real madrid which he will begin after the world cup well the spanish fa wasn't having any of that and they said look man this is very very disrespectful this is unprofessional in our view and you gotta go one day before the world cup started so the sporting director Fernando Hierro was appointed the new head coach of the Spanish national team. Like, this is ridiculous. This is crazy, right? I know a lot of us were talking about Julian Lipitegui, Julian Lipitegui, this and that. And now, you know, all that is null and void. But Fernando Hierro's only coaching job was with Segunda Division team Real Oviedo, which in his short stint, he failed to get them promoted to La Liga. So he was a sporting director and now he is the head coach. He was a former Real Madrid player, Touche, and a Spanish international earning 89 caps for Spain. Well, now for form, how does both teams look coming into the World Cup? For Portugal, in their last five matches, they have two wins, two draws, and one loss. I'm not impressed with Portugal in the friendlies at all. Maybe they're going to play better in tournaments, but in the friendlies, they are just horrible. They are just not impressive at all. Maybe it's because a lot of those friendlies they played without their star man Cristiano Ronaldo. Maybe. As for Spain, in their last five matches, they have two wins and three draws. They remain unbeaten since 2016, since Lopetegui took over. So that's an amazing feat right there. Could they remain unbeaten under Fernando Hierro? This one is a very, very tricky question. As for players to watch, for Portugal, of course, all eyes, I mean all eyes, all cameras, the television screens will be on Cristiano Ronaldo. Like, come on, I don't need to go into details how important he is for Portugal. Cristiano Ronaldo is the main player amongst the 22 to keep an eye on. He is dangerous. He is deadly. After all, he's one of the greatest players of all time. I'm really talking of Ronaldo, right? Also, we must keep an eye on Manchester City player Bernardo Silva. His creativity will be very important for Portugal at this World Cup and versus Spain. So keep an eye on Bernardo. He is really, really good. Trust me on that. I've watched him all 2017-18 season. And also, you must keep an eye on the big defender, former Real Madrid man, Pepe. Coming up versus Spain, it's going to be a mouth-watering one to look forward to. Pepe versus Diego Costa. Oh, my God. Then the next man for Portugal that we would want to keep an eye on is Ricardo Quaresma. His experience will be needed for Portugal if they are to do anything of note in this World Cup. He can't give us a lackluster performance. He can't underwhelm. He need to shine. Like, finally, finally, come on, Quaresma. Do something big for Portugal. For Spain, players to watch Diego Costa, the big man up front, holding up play, roughing up defenders, putting them in the back of the net. He is very, very important for Spain. That's why he was picked ahead of the likes of Alvaro Morata. Also, Isco is going to be very, very influential in the midfield and going forward. So... Don't take your eyes off Isco. One for the future. Perfect replacement for Andres Iniesta in the Spanish setup. Then we have the aforementioned Andres Iniesta featuring in his final World Cup. He was the man that scored that goal that won Spain their first World Cup title. So he is going to look to sail off into the sunset with one last big trophy. Also, 
we must not discount the services of Sergio Busquets in the holding midfielder position. He doesn't want to go up and strike. He doesn't want to be the man that all eyes are on. He don't want all the recognition. You need a player like that to help out the defense and Sergio Busquets is your man. I could go on and on about players to watch on the Spanish team. We have Saul Ninguez. We have Coque. We have Asensio. We have Jody Alba. We have David De Gea. So I don't need to get too much into detail. The Spanish squad is just star studded and now for the best part the sweetest part my official prediction for portugal versus spain in their first match of the 2018 world cup one of the marquee matches of the 2018 world cup group stages portugal versus spain well obviously spain looks the better of the two teams on paper but for portugal they have Cristiano Ronaldo who is going to be relishing this game versus his teammates of Real Madrid and his El Clasico rivals of Barcelona he is gonna love this stage this is what Cristiano Ronaldo loves this is why he strives on the biggest stage but his World Cup record has been quite lackluster with only three World Cup goals you need to do better than that Cristiano Ronaldo Definitely, you've been at many, many World Cups and you have the experience and you need to come good for Portugal this time around. And versus the nation where he plays his football, where he makes his living, he will have a big point to prove. Spain, Spain, Spain. But we all must admit that Spain looks the better team with more proven and established players in every position while Portugal aren't as settled as a unit. But even amid their managerial crisis, their big fiasco with Julian Lopetegui, I'm still going to predict Portugal nil, Spain one. Remember guys, this is only my prediction. May the best team win. For question of the day guys, question of the day. Will Cristiano Ronaldo win a FIFA World Cup to top off his illustrious career? This might be the only trophy missing from his collection. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. And if you're new to the channel, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Share the video with your friends. Get the channel out there. Add me on Twitter. Add me on Instagram. The things are going to pop up right there for you to do that. And don't forget to smash the big thumbs up button. Let me know your thoughts down below. And until next time, peace out, Rich Squad.